This is John Cole at OKRaw.com through another exciting episode for you. I'm coming at you from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm here at the Baltimore Convention Center for a very important reason. I'm here for the Natural Products Expo East right behind me in the Convention Center. And uh, what I'm going to do next in this episode is actually go around the whole Convention Center, which is basically this is the trade show for the health food industry. So if you're a health food store owner, a vitamin shop owner, you know, you work for Whole Foods, you're here trying to find the latest and greatest products that you'll be able to bring into your store and then sell the public, which is you guys. <laughs> so hopefully there's good buyers for these stores. They're finding some of the coolest stuff and then they're gonna bring them into the store. But unfortunately I find many buyers are just, you know, they got so many things to do. They're not finding all the unique products that are truly gonna be healthy for you because I wanna remind you guys that this is the health food trade show for the business of health. It doesn't mean that all, everybody in there is optimally healthy or they're eating a you know, large percentage of plants or raw plants, all this kind of stuff. There's plenty of people outside still smoking and all this stuff, and I hate when I walk outside, I'm gonna walk fast and like, how can you even smoke at a health food trade show? It's not healthy, but there's plenty of other people that are, you know, maybe not the healthiest behind the booth selling products to you guys, you know, so it's tough so it's it's tough you know there's over a thousand booths in there and what I do is I walk the whole show maybe the first day the second day find out and talk to the people that are that are exhibiting that have some of the best products and then on the third day I make a video for you guys sharing you guys the best products inside there right and that's what I'm simply gonna do in this episode we're gonna go ahead and head inside I'll give you a glimpse of what it looks like and then I'm gonna share the products with you that I believe you know coming from a natural health standpoint me being into a plant-based raw foods out now for the last 20 years the products get that can most benefit you and your life you know and, and I want to always encourage you guys to eat more plants eat more fruits and vegetables and decrease the amount of other things you guys are eating in your diet in any case let's go into this year's natural products expo east and show the guys the best plant-based products that will improve your life so this is what it looks like inside the trade show here it's just like totally busy totally like a lot of people screwing everywhere and on the last day which is when i'm filming everybody's getting like free samples of stuff which is really exciting but i'm here to share with you guys the best uh, vendors or exhibitors at this whole trade show so uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out one of the best all right so now I'm gonna share with you guys the best booth at this whole event and it's actually only a half booth it's not even a full booth and it's sad that most people at this event are actually just walking by this booth but this is like you know groundbreaking research and information that everybody and you guys are watching this you guys are getting this because nobody else is and this booth really doesn't look like much what it is in here they have you know um this is basically a food that is actually high in germanium uh, this is a food inside here that's high in uh, ruthenium and this is a food in here that's high in platinum and why this is very important is because these are some of the same noble metals or trace minerals that are delivered under chemotherapy and one of the reasons why chemotherapy works and that's why they give you know cancer patients chemotherapy to deliver these minerals so literally this is uh, you know um, basically through food uh, you know it can be a medicine and like Hippocrates said let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food this is food in here and I'll show you guys what it is in a minute that is literally medicine and I believe every food being grown today should be a medicine but it's unfortunate that the quality of the food in today's age is really poor quality it has low nutrition low trace minerals because growers are not adding these nutrients into the soil especially in these you know higher than normal amounts that would occur in nature as a dietary supplement that can have significant positive effects against diseases in my opinion the only thing in here if we open this up is look it's just a bag of green powder this is powdered lettuce that is high in germanium and this is some expensive lettuce i think a kilo of this stuff you know sells for like five grand or something and so yes this is some really expensive stuff but you know what you don't need a kilo of it so i want to show you guys this check it out over here all right so this shows how nutritious in certain minerals this the this basically food or lettuce is so here's the bioavailable germanium product walmart lettuce organic mix is 10 parts per billion and theirs is 4320 parts per billion in germanium 
That's your germanium rich lettuce. The molybdenum mal mal is 794 and they're, you know, uh, Lettuce that's, you know, basically food that is a medicine, in my opinion, is 33,700, 33, I mean, it's significantly more in the vanadium, 270 for Walmart lettuce, organic, and theirs is a 1,090, and their zinc, it's three times higher in zinc than organic lettuce that you're buying at the store is their specially grown lettuce in special soils. So the main thing that makes this the lettuce that they grow different is the fertilizer they're using and it's an organic fertilizer and they've found a way a specific and unique way to take minerals to basically take those minerals with some microbes and compost them ferment them whatever they do and then they feed these nutrients to the plants that then the plants take up the nutrition in there so instead of taking a vitamin and mineral supplement we should all be getting our nutrition from our food, but it's just not happening. So I'm glad they did develop this technology to deliver certain minerals, you know, to the plants so that the, you, they could have really high quality plants, which, you know, when our bodies get the right nutrition, hopefully in the form of plants, you know, our bodies could do amazing things. So, I mean, they have little samples here. They're not giving these out generally, but I got a sample. And this is their uh, bioavailable platinum. And this is just, one, once again, lettuce. And each of their different products are grown in different, you know, greenhouse beds. Their soils cost incredibly a lot of money to basically put platinum, which is a precious metal, uh, and they combine it and they basically make it bioavailable and they feed this organic fertilizer to the plants. The plants take it up and now they have a platinum one. And they've separated each one of these, uh, the ruthenium, and the germanium, because you know there's data out there from the USDA that shows like. There's certain minerals that may be lacking when certain disease situations occur. So each one of these are, you know, uh, designed for specific situations that people may be ha happening and, and having. So I'm going to go ahead and taste some uh, platinum. This is a, also a pill that you could take. I like. I don't like to take the pills. I like to have the green powder. So inside here, it's simply green powder. So we're going to go ahead and open this up, and I'm going to put it in my mouth and let you guys know what high platinum lettuce tastes like. Hmm. I taste the lettuce. It tastes like a butter lettuce. I mean, it just tastes like lettuce green powder. It doesn't taste anything special. But I mean, imagine if cancer patients could now take lettuce. So on some of the more valuable, you know, uh, minerals, like the trace minerals that I was talking about, you know, they grow the, the food and then they'll actually sell the food. But what they want to do is actually create a fertilizer product that home gardeners and people in industry can use to basically enrich certain minerals into their plants. So they have testing and like a little book that I saw the other day where they actually, um, you know, use this very fertilizer right here. And this is their product, it's their soil conditioner. And this uh, soil conditioner is actually uh, known as the GTF or glucose tolerance factor. And what this fertilizer does is actually contains the trace minerals that have been identified that people with say type two diabetes may need in their life, right? So they know, if, oh, if you got diabetes, you're supposed to take chromium because you might not have enough. Well, you could take a chromium supplement all day long and it could be like 1000% of your US RDF chromium, but just because it's in the supplement doesn't mean your body's gonna absorb because it's in a non-food state, right? With this, you take these, these minerals, this fertilizer, you fertilize your radishes, for example, and now you're growing radishes that'll be high in chromium, vanadium, molybdenum, zinc, sulfur. And so you're gonna have basically radishes that will give you the nutrients you're missing. And you know, the cause of the diabetes is probably not getting into the minerals, but also, you know, doing the wrong things. So we want to get the right minerals and then also do the right things like eat a fresh fruit and vegetable based diet, fresh plant based diet and not do the processed foods and animal foods in excess like most Americans, right? And so they're offering this and this treats up to one cubic yard of soil and this stuff is $140. So, I mean, this was designed specifically for the purpose of G 
uh, TF for glucose tolerance factor. And hopefully one day he's gonna have different products that can address other certain uh, conditions by growing healthy food. And that's my whole message, you know. This is why I teach you guys gardening. This is why I add trace minerals into my garden so that I get all the different minerals that my body may need to remain healthy. And so I'm glad that he's doing this work because there's nobody else doing this work. And the main thing I didn't tell you guys yet is that the USDA has data on, uh, you know, when you have certain mineral deficiencies, you're likely to get this disease condition. And the USDA has already done all this research and he's just basically uh, finding a way to not do this in a drug, not do this in chemotherapy, but by growing healthy food. Because in the end, healthy food makes healthy people. And I wanna encourage you guys to start growing your own food so you can have more healthy food. If you want to learn more about the work they're doing here, you're going to want to check them out at naturallynoble.com. Or even better yet, grow your own foods and then take those inside, process them in your own juicer to have the highest quality nutrients, right? And as you guys saw, just some of the growing practices could greatly influence. You could have pharmaceutical grade nutrients in a food, which is what nature wants to provide for us. But unfortunately, with the depleted soils, this is not happening. And this is why it is so important for me to teach you guys organic gardening and the, the highest quality organic gardening to grow the highest quality food, right? So I want you guys to, you know, minimize the processed foods in your life and eat more fruits and vegetables. And even if you're not gonna get rid of all the processed foods, you know, by the inch it's a cinch, by the yard it's hard. I like to teach you guys one step at a time, you know, eat an extra apple and reduce the amount of things that aren't so healthy for you. And you guys know what that is. I'm not, I don't need to tell you guys that. So eat more fruits and vegetables, whether you wanna juice them, blend them, eat them whole, and eat less of the processed stuff. Yes, even some of the stuff that's in this haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up. Let me know. I'll continue to make more videos at the Natural Product Expos to share with you guys the best products that I like so that you guys can enhance your health by using them, looking them up, and getting more contact from the manufacturers. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below to be notified of my upcoming episodes that I have coming out. And be sure to check my past episodes. I'll put links down below to all the previous Natural Products Health Expos that I've done in the past so you can learn about some of my favorite products at those expos as well. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. All right, this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you and coming at you from the 2015 Woodstock Fruit Festival here in New York. And one of the reasons why I like the Woodstock Fruit Festival is I get to meet new friends but also see old ones.